Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. You guys know we like Jackie O's. Jackie so, O's. Yeah, Jackie O's. Uh, so we have another one. Um, Athens, Ohio, by the way. If you've never been, you should check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, they have several facilities, brewing facility, and then a couple uh, places downtown where you can drink their stuff. But tonight, we're drinking Black Mask. This is a 12% Imperial Stout, barrel-aged with coffee, cacao nibs, and vanilla beans. Sounds awesome. So, preceded by 2013 KBS, which is that exact description minus vanilla beans. Mm -hmm. So, should be interesting to see what we get, because yeah. I'm sure we'll be comparing it to that. I'm sure we will. All right, so, pours pretty black. And this is 2017, if I didn't say it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so hold the glass there, tan nice heads. Nice tan head, yeah. All right. All right, let's get the nose. Kind of a bland smell, to yeah. be honest with you. I don't get barrel character. Well, I was going to say, I get more kind of, uh, in those adjuncts, I get more kind of chocolate vanilla, I think. Okay. I think I get, like, mostly this kind of vanilla. Uh, maybe from the vanilla beans, maybe from the bourbon, maybe a combination of the two, the bourbon barrels, maybe a combination of the two, with a little bit of chocolate, mm -hmm. uh, not getting a lot of coffee on that. I guess that's what I was expecting yeah, I get, to smell right away. I get no coffee. Um, I, I do see what you're saying about the vanilla. I get I mean, a little sweetness, which I could attribute to vanilla, but it just mostly smells like malt to me, and it's not too cold either. I mean, it's been no, out for a while. Too. and yeah, I get that subtle, but it's not like a big roasted malt right. head in the nose. It's subtle. I, I think some of it's booze in there, but anyway. All right. Cheers. 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 Hmm. Okay. I get a little coffee and a little vanilla. Um, cacao nibs. Uh, yeah, I'm getting some maybe. chocolate. Yeah. Hmm. So I was going to say, I think I get mainly... I get second sip even more. Tons of vanilla. I think I'm getting way more vanilla than anything yeah, else. Yeah, I'm starting to get more vanilla too and more chocolate. Yeah, and then it's and then the chocolate's coming after that. So mm -hmm. I don't think I would call this a coffee stout at all if I was drinking this blind. Yeah, it's it's subtle if it's there yeah. at all. It tastes more just like a vanilla stout to me. A vanilla barrel aged stout. Definitely got some booze, twelve percent. You can taste that on the second sip. But the only thing that I would say is coffee is, you know how you get a little astringency? Mm -hmm. I think I'm getting a little of that, yeah. and that's it. That's the only thing I would say is yeah. coffee. Uh, I love this for a vanilla stout. I think it's got a great vanilla character. The coffee backs it. It's it's sweet, you know, in that sweet, roasty kind of spectrum. It's more sweet. Don't get a lot of roast, but it's not overly sweet. And it's mm -hmm. got a nice little kind of a booze kick on the back that I dig. See, I don't really get much sweetness from it. Um, I get more of the astringency, which not I say that and usually that sounds that's a an off flavor that's not good, but I'm talking about that mm. that coffee astringency that you know you get when you have roasted coffee. Um, Maybe so I can see it on the back, like after the vanilla. I'm getting mostly that. Like oh, that's really? The, that's really all I get, okay. and then I get a little bit of sweetness. Just a little bit, but I can tell it's vanilla though, which is nice. The predominant flavor I get is vanilla. Mm. Like right up front, this big okay. vanilla kick, and it's kind of like a little sweet with it. And, and I guess it's not sweet as in like Lizard of Cause, which we did earlier. It's sweet. Right. It's kind of just sweet as in it's not bit. It's not bitter to me. Right. Um, I get more vanilla with each sip. Yeah. Because um, I'm starting to get used to that. You know what I'm calling is the subtle coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm getting more vanilla. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Again. I'm not sure I'd call this coffee. Maybe a hint of that, and maybe what you're calling the astringency. I can, I can get that flavor of what I know to be coffee. Very, yeah. very subtle. It is subtle. Um, really, but the I, chocolate and vanilla are the more predominant flavors. Definitely, definitely. Um, four, four, two, five ish, like that yeah, range. Um, I'm kind of in between two. You know, four plus or four, two, five minus. Yeah. Um, so kind of in between. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Let's go. Yeah, let's just go four, four. Four plus, yeah. Yeah, four plus is yeah. where I am too. It's still good. Um, I think, you know, if, if we had this blind and didn't know that it was supposed to be coffee, we'd probably rate it higher because we're getting more vanilla and more chocolate. But, I mean, we're but expecting it's, more coffee. it's your typical Jack Yo's it's mouth, a little thin. You know, a little thin. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I think that's a fair rating. It's a good beer. It's worth trying. It's not, uh, I mean, it's not crazy up there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's solid. I, yeah, I would like more coffee in this. I would too. You know, putting it on the label, you got coffee. 
Uh, definitely would want that in there. Maybe him more chocolate. Um, or maybe put it last. Is coffee the first thing they put? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'd put coffee last. If you did coffee last, I think, you know, <laughs> they'd expect less. But seriously, it, it, I think it's a it's a decent, it's a solid beer. It's mm -hmm. not something I would seek out. Right. I'm glad I tried it. Thanks Most everything sharing. we get from them is, is solid. Yeah. It's, and some things are even getting into that upper tier. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, this one's definitely worth trying. Another great one. Um, definitely sip on it for a while and enjoy it. Um, anything else? Mm -hmm. As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.